now the mysteries of the kingdom of god is given to you not to others it's not that they should not understand but the time has not come it needs a it needs stage by stage growth so very be careful that those who have the habit of siesta it's a very comfortable time and climate <laughs> very good climate inside and you may have a siesta but i hope you have a good neighbor who will help you <laughs> so please help each other it's quite natural that we may fall into sleep listening the sweet voice and the nice weather so the neighbor should give a hit and tell them in the years tell their years race race okay right so be careful that you should not miss that small points uh, it's something the very core of our holiness the very core of the experience of holiness what i am going to share with you now uh, truly since then i realized this experience of resurrection i found a great inner joy inner power confident whatever it may be we can face it whatever darkness come nothing can do anything to us because we are already illumined with the light that feeling and confidence we will have once we understand this mystery of resurrection i will go back to that event of lazarus house in the house of lazarus this is <laughs> earlier understanding was yes Mary and Martha very good loving girls or ladies and they loved Jesus very much we also love Jesus yes or no yes. we love him so much we are ready to give our life that's fine but with what understanding now take take chapter 11 john in chapter 11 3 these sisters sent one man to tell jesus these sisters were so confident so the sisters sent a word to him saying master the one you love is ill maybe they thought as soon as jesus hear this because he he loved this family he will immediately come and heal lazarus and lazarus will become good but of course this man went and informed jesus but jesus did not he did not come and Jesus knew that Lazarus is going to die and after few days after some time Jesus came to know Lazarus is dead and he proclaimed this death he said to the these other disciples he said to this and told them 11 11 our friend lazarus is asleep but 
I am going to awaken him. Very important. He is asleep. But I am going to awaken him. This is what renewal means. An awakening. So the disciples said to him, Master, if he is asleep, he will be saved. Let him sleep. <laughs> but don't think that now, okay? <laughs> All right. Now I, 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 I could go long on this, but I have no time. So I will, I will concise. Yeah. Now point is this. When Jesus came, both the sisters had, at least in this conviction, they had a unity. They were, both of them said the same words. Master, please read that. Martha said to Jesus, 21, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Again, Mary, verse 32, when Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Very good. Both are in union. They both love Jesus. They express all their love. But in the level of faith, this is wrong. Or it is not grown into the higher level of faith. If you would have been here, my brother would not have died. died. Now, keep a hand or a marking there. And go to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 9. There you can find a man who says, Master, my daughter just died. <laughs> Read that. Matthew chapter 9, verse 18. While he was saying these things to them, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died. But come, lay your hand on her and she will live. Please read, everybody read this loudly. My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hand on her and she will live. Now you compare these two statements. The statement of Martha and Mary, that if you would have been here, my brother would not have died. And the statement of Jairus, that Lord, my daughter just died. But you come and lay and, and she will resurrect. In which faith you are? I mean, now you have to understand. Don't raise your hands or don't answer. Just go in deep in your heart and see. Were you in the school of Jairus or in the school of Lazarus or Martha Mary? This is where our growth. So, it's so exciting. This, as early, just at the beginning of Jesus' preaching, when other Jews were ridiculing about Jesus, other Jews were telling, he's the son of a carpenter, how he got this power, what he can do. But in between, there was a man with a strong an official, a learned man of a synagogue, he had this conviction that this son of carpenter is not an ordinary person. He is the Messiah. If he is the Messiah, he has the power to, to raise, not to heal, but to raise. Oh, it's something
thinking when i when i focused on this statement of jerus i really repented what weak faith i had that at that time i never believed that jesus yes we used to pray for healing that is very common of the charismatics correct we are very famous for praying for healing good i don't it's we must but what is this healing is what is this healing this healing is nothing but a, a little experience of the resurrection now we should imagine this scene as a drama when jesus was sitting there this official came and knelt down he said my daughter just died you come and just lay your hand and she will live jesus immediately got up and started moving toward that house of this dead now in all the gospels this event is intertwined or interlinked with the healing of the that lady who was suffering with hemorrhage <laughs> so i used to feel jesus and this group is moving forward to for the so in the heart of jesus is already the resurrection now jesus is going to perform this great miracle of resurrection so packed with the power of resurrection jesus is moving in between somebody came and touched him so what she received she really drained out the power of resurrection she really pulled the power of resurrection from him and he immediately turned around who touched me something happened there everybody was amazed why everybody is touching no 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 power power was drawn from me and what is that power the power of resurrection so what is that power this woman with the hemorrhage was drawn from jesus the power of resurrection so then jesus is reaching to the house of jairus and there you can see we cannot blame the people there they can never understand this they saw this child is dead verse 23 on verse when jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion he said go away the girl is not dead but sleeping he never used the word resurrection and all because he want to he want to hide these secrets that i will tell later on why jesus was hiding why jesus was not allowing the people to understand these things and they ridiculed him <laughs> they said what are you talking the child is dead we saw the child is dead and now you say he is sleeping <laughs> where from you have come we know this child this child was sick many days and now we saw the child is dying and she is dead but now and they ridiculed him when the crowd was put out he came and took her by hand and the little girl arose now we can see before the resurrection of jesus why jesus has given a taste of his resurrection to the people we saw this in the in lazarus house we saw in the house of jairus and we can see again the house of or in the in the village of nine where a lady the widow she was crying they never asked anything to jesus she never asked jesus saw her tears luke 7 luke 7 11 soon afterwards he journeyed to city called nine 
and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him as he drew near the gate of the city a man who had died was being carried out the only son of his mother and she was a widow the large crowd from the city was with her when the lord saw her he was moved with pity for her and said to her do not weep he stepped forward and touched the coffin at this the bearers halted and he said young man i tell you raise the dead man sat up and began to speak resurrection now we see three levels here first in the case of jairus it is purely the power of faith that he believed in the power of resurrection in this case of this widow this is the merciful compassion of jesus merciful compassion merciful love of jesus they did not ask anything they did not ask anything she was only crying the lord knows everything that's another way of drawing the power or where the lord intervene in our life and in the case of family of lazarus the sisters of lazarus they loved jesus but so jesus reached out to them and jesus himself take initiative to bring up their faith step by step into the realization of the resurrection this is actually we want now so when jesus said to martha he will resurrect so we have already explained but then she said yes we know that on the last day he will resurrect and at that time jesus said i am i am the life and resurrection i am the life and resurrection hold on to this word i am the life and resurrection now this we have to parallelly see on the easter night you see the two letters there what is that alpha and omega so when jesus said i am alpha and omega is a parallel it's a parallel to i am life and resurrection i am life and resurrection this we have to understand now in a very interesting way before that let me just see how jesus raised the faith of martha so when jesus said i am the life and resurrection martha said all right all right okay okay yes i agree whatever you ask the lord will do it then jesus went and to the tomb he said now come on take away the stone nobody is moving <laughs> nobody is moving you should visualize these scenes you know because these people standing around there three days back on their shoulders took this dead body and put inside the tomb and close this mighty stone now jesus is telling take away the stone what is this stone now that is our lack of faith that is the faith which we have to grow that is the block in our faith in our convictions in the mystery of the resurrection we are not blaming them it's not possible for anybody to believe that at that time it's not possible even his own apostles did not believe in the resurrection even after seeing the resurrected lord so imagine how mysterious it is but jesus said to martha so martha said lord 
it's already three days over now. It will be <laughs> stinking. See the tension between the convictions and faith. Then Jesus said, did I not tell you if you believe you will see the glory of God? Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. I believe. I believe. See now, what happened now in her? What happened in her? Change. Change. See, although she agreed, yes, whatever he asked, he, whatever you ask, he will do it. But now this local situation is coming. Oh, it's my brother. He was died. He's now stinking. How this stinking situation can be changed? So this is the tension in our life. One is the highest spiritual expressions and convictions of the Bible, of our faith, of our truth. And another is the lowest stinking situation of our reality of our life. What is it? Yeah. Reality of our life. We are in between. We are in between. But the mighty power will help us. So Jesus said, have I not have I not to tell you that if you believe you will see the glory of God? Yes, so now the only point is faith. Only point is faith. If you believe, you will receive. This is very simple to draw the power of resurrection. What is the simple? What is the simple thing? If you believe, you will receive. Nothing else. And that's why on the way to the house of Jairus, there was a lady who believed if at all I touch on his hem of the cloth, I will be healed. Only believe. Twelve years she was, she has gone to so many doctors in Bombay. But no help. No help. Twelve years. Uh, sorry, doctors, please don't mind. Now, Jesus, but she believed, if at all I touch on his cloth. This now, if you go, you can meditate on this. What is this cloth symbolizes? Purification. Yes, purification. Any other answer? What is this cloth symbolizes? Resurrection. Resurrection. Uh, of course, she do not know all these things, but now we have to learn from so many symbols in the Bible. She touched only the cloth. Power. So, how power came? She did not touch the body of Christ. How power came to her? Faith, faith. Believe and you receive. I may keep on <laughs> making this thing. Believe, so you will receive. Because this is very easy for us, no? There is no other media, no other material, no other things are required. Only what you need is believe. Believe. So that's what Jesus said to Martha. Mary, have I not told you if you believe, you will see the glory of God. So, and then she said, all right, all right, remove the stone. So the stone was actually in her heart first. So from, it, from her heart it was first removed, so physically it is removed. It's very important. All this purification and holiness in our physical life should happen. But how it will happen? First, it should happen in our heart, in our convictions, with determination, strong determination is required. 